Greenway Prime Suite is a highly customizable, easy to navigate, complete electronic medical record system software. From a practice management perspective, any user can take advantage of a full AR management menu, a full registration menu, options for reporting on predefined reports or designing your own reports, a full scheduling system with location administration, rules, and appointment type administration options, a full system menu which will allow clinical managers or database administrators to change certain items in the database, and a help menu that can be used by any user in the system complete with a Prime Suite help catalog with reference materials. From a clinical perspective, any user can take advantage of the framework here on the left, the clinician's desktop, with a hyperlink for an orders tracking page, an unsigned documents listing, an unsigned results listing, a listing of any open messages or tasks, and the ability to easily navigate to any open charts in the system. The clinical portion of Prime Suite, or the patient charts, contains a face sheet that is easily modifiable by any user. By clicking the Customize Face Sheet option on the left, this particular user can change his or her face sheet for any patient that they administer or see. In addition to the face sheet, there is a summary option for printing the face sheet, a document section which will illustrate or show any document that has been created in the system and or scanned by any user into this patient's chart, any open notes, and a results section for easy addressing of results. Due to the flexibility of Prime Suite, users can also view prenatal flow sheets or any discipline specific item, including lab flow sheets and growth charts if they so desire. The system also contains a notes section complete with any history and physical or progress notes or any other kind of notes such as procedures or orders notes. By creating a note, the user can complete the sections of that note with sketchpad options for dictation and or free text, or can choose a template in order to view predefined options and easily click through the options in the system. Once a template has been chosen for this particular note, the user can click on any of the predefined options such as a chief complaint, or navigate to the history of present illness to complete that narrative. Templates will allow for demographic information to be pre-populated, or for lists of options to be answered by the user, such as what are the presenting symptoms. By clicking on that option, I can see the select list of all of my available choices and an other option for free texting. Once I click on my choice, the system will move me to the next selection until I get to a point to where I have completed my narrative. Once I choose to stop or I complete my narrative, I can see the HPI fully replete with the information that I've chosen. Navigating to the rest of the sections, I can end up in a physical exam section, which will show my physical exam options or types that are preferable to me based on this condition, or I can, in an ad hoc fashion, add items to that PE. By making a quick change to any of the available physical exam options, I can show the system that I have an abnormal condition. Based on my templated options, I can also choose a diagnosis code in the assessment section or search for any kind of diagnosis that I may choose to add to this particular note. I can change the name of the diagnosis. I can view the mapping crosswalk between ICD-9 and ICD-10 coding, and I can do other items like add a discussion or add this item to the past medical history of the patient for easy selection during the next visit. Navigating to the plan section, I have another list of options for my orders. My common orders are at the top, allowing me for clicking and easy selection of those orders. I can navigate to any of my medication options and prescribe a new medication or address an existing medication by refill or discontinuation. Or I can navigate to the bottom of the plan add an instruction for my patient or for my documentation, and a disposition such as return to the clinic in two weeks. 
This disposition will then be transferred to the checkout desk who will be able to process that scheduling change. Once I have finished my documentation, I can navigate to the ENM section and click Calculate, which will allow the system to give me a level of service based on the content of my note. If I don't like the level of service that is being given by this note, then I can modify the template in the Chart Template Admin section of the program in order to further improve my documentation options and my ease of navigation. Once I save my note, there are other options available, such as printing and faxing, sending to my provider, or viewing a super bill summary that will allow me to see the options that will be built based on this visit. Upon final signature of the note, I can amend the document or view an entire preview of the note, use the faxing software attached to my EMR to send this to a referring provider, or route this internally, and again, I can view all of the billing options that will come of this note.